Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm gonna show you one of the all-time worst live catch mousetraps that I've ever seen. It's an antique spring-loaded style mousetrap. There's two chambers. The idea is the mouse goes inside, pulls on the bait on the hook, it releases the door, and it slams down. Now actually, I've already filmed the intro for this video and set it up in the barn with motion cameras, but the results were so graphic, I couldn't show it on YouTube, so I thought I'd redo it. What happened is, the mouse entered, pulled on the bait, and instead of getting caught in the cage, it slammed down and smashed half the mouse's body. That does not result in a very quick clean kill, and I do not like how this trap works. Now this style has been around for a long time. I featured other traps that were much larger. Here's a bigger version with the same spring-loaded door. The mouse will go in there, set off the bait, and will close, but the mouse is caught in the cage is completely fine, and that's because the bait hook is so far back, but not with this trap. Half of the mouse's body is sticking out. So to be able to film this trap in action, I'm gonna have to do some modifications. Here's what I came up with. I placed almonds on the bait hooks on both sides and wire on the top of the doors. That way when the mouse goes in there and pulls on the hook, it will set off the door, but the back end of the mouse won't get smashed or the tail won't get cut off. It's gonna be a much more humane option, but instead of a trap, we're turning this into a feeding station, but it should work for the video. Now one thing that happens oftentimes with this style trap is, when it's a double, the jolt of the trap setting off on one side sets off both sides. We'll have to see if that happens. Let's go set up the motion cameras and watch a very lucky mouse enjoy a free almond. Well, we almost had a double, but the back of the mice were still in the doorway when the trap set off. If that wire wasn't attached, we'd have a very bloody mess on our hands. Also, both traps set off with a jolt, so that makes this trap one of the worst I've ever seen for being a live catch. Not only does it torture the mice, but it doesn't work very well. It doesn't make a double. It'd be much better if you only had one doorway and the trigger way on the back. That longer piece will give you the space you need to make it a very humane trap, but overall, it's terrible. Sorry my voice sounds so differently. This time of year I get seasonal allergies and I'm always congested. I get a lot of comments about that. So if you wonder, that's why my voice sounds so strange. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see the best videos on how to catch and sometimes not catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.